Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. How you guys all out there doing today? I'm doing quite well, and I want to bring you guys back over to the Big Dig. And the reason I'm bringing you guys back over to the Big Dig is, well, because so many of you guys left likes and comments on that, that apparently you guys want to watch me dig that thing out. So, well, <laughs> I guess we're going to start digging the big dig which is the spawn chunks so yeah i guess we're gonna be spending some time over here guys so one of the things let's just get moving um let might as well work our way over to this and i think i have a bed down below um don't quote me on that i had a horrible stutter in the game early this morning not sure what was causing that, but I'm going to go ahead and grab myself an extra bed while I'm in here. And let's go ahead. Let's work our way over here. And here we go. So this is supposed to be the big dig. This is a 10 by 10 area of all of the uh, spawn chunks. Where ever, this is 10 by 10 is the active chunks where entities basically spawn at inside your world. All right. If this area is completely lit up and you have it filled from Y1 all the way to Y15 and you slab that entire area or you light it up well enough to the point where nothing can spawn, you should be able to optimize your 1.14 worlds. So I got this idea from watching... I got this idea about optimizing my world from watching... Let's see here. Where is my silk touch pick? It's right in my hand. Okay. So I got this idea from watching a lot of the Psy crafters. You know, they do a lot of stuff and things in their worlds. And I wanted to try to do this in my world. So we have to dig all of this stuff out of here, all the sand. We got a box and crate all of this stuff up. I got some trees over here. I started some crates. Now let's talk about a filler, okay? Because over here on this two area, all right, we got two blocks on this. Now what I was thinking about for a filler, is not using these but we're gonna go ahead and shove these dark oak logs in here anyways what i was thinking about for a filler is something like this all right now i know i got fancy leaves turned off but i want to add in a little bit of this and a little bit of dark oak in with it all right so we're gonna make like a pattern of two different types of leaves that will should look good maybe we'll add some of this beautiful podzel in this project um, i want to make this area look nice i don't want it to look like a hundred percent all like yuck or anything like that now leaves that don't change color are like these things right here all right so i it, when it comes to like a sandy biome, you want to think about stuff that you could really use, all right? So let's say this is a desert. Well, because we are beside a desert, all right? Um, these types of tree, these things right here, these birch, these leaves right here, they don't change color in a uh, savanna or uh, any other kind of biome like that, all right? They always maintain the same integrity for whatever reason. I don't know. So let's go ahead. Let's grab ourselves some of these leaves while we're at it as well. We can get some saplings off of some of these as they fall off. But let's go ahead. Let's get ourselves some of these. Now, as you break these, you do not get saplings. You do not get sticks or anything like that as you break them with these. But I'm not worried about that. We're going to have battles down here with all kinds of mobs, guys, which is all kinds of things. This is going to be this is going to be a load of fun. And I hopefully you guys are up for it. Too. We're going to grab ourselves some leaves from this while we're here. There we go. I like this. I'm liking this idea. So we're going to have a mixture of birch. So we come out by two of these. Maybe we say, all right. 
we do something like that right there and we add another variant in with it. That's kind of like what I want to do for this entire thing. Now, I'm not going to sleep through all of these nights, but just for this first night, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take ourselves a nap. We're going to stuff some of these things away. And let's go ahead. Let's start off on the one side of this. We got some chests already here. We got some dark oak. So we're going to go ahead and store all our logs in here. Um, I'm going to put my miscellaneous stuff inside of this chest. We even got some feather falling. Um, put a boat in there if we need it. All right. So we got all our logs. We got our iron inside of here with all our saplings. Actually, we'll just store the iron inside of here for now. And we'll put our saplings and some sticks and stuff and things in here. Yeah, like that. All right, so all these other chests right here, we got one for gravel. We got one for stone. We got one for granite and so on and so forth. You guys know how this thing goes. And I even got one for all this sand. All right. First things first, let's get this big wall of sand out of here. We got a couple of these things. And let's start from up high. And let's get this corner out. All right, let's take this thing all the way down. And yeah, let's do this. Let's take this thing the whole way down. Whoa. And we should probably have some extra stone brick on us for stuff and things like that. Uh, we don't want this. And I'm not sure if I have any extra stone brick on me. So we'll go ahead and seriously. Thank you. We'll go ahead and we'll fill her in these things like this. So if we run across any of these, I want to make sure I backfill them with something else entirely. Until I can get some stone brick going, I'm just going to backfill this. So let's just get our shovel. Let's go to work and let's start excavating, guys. Um, as we do this, I'd like to hear from you guys. What are your ideas? All right. Give me some plans. Give me some ideas, guys. Some stuff and things for some episodes. What do you guys want to see out of this? You know, we got our SS Silker. We're going to we're gonna go to town, guys. We're going to tear this whole place apart. We'll be able to get some stone bricks going along here soon enough. That way we could uh, get some other things going. There we go. Let's get this corner down. Because we're going to get stuck. Or, we're going to get stuck in here. Nice and good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. We're going to get lots of materials from this, guys. And we're going to use this for building. So we want to take this thing all the way down to bedrock. And then we want to backfill it all the way to level 15. I never was one on backfilling to bedrock. All right. I kind of like to take all the materials. And I like to do something special down at bedrock instead. But... It turns out it's something to do with sub chunks for optimization. So we're going to try that. And I'm going to try to do it the way that, you know, Psycraft does things for their servers. And we'll see what how things turn out, okay? No guarantees, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to see how much of this we can get done here today. And... <laughs> Hopefully it's enough. Now, we don't have a beacon. We will have to go to the nether, and we're going to have to get ourselves some type of beacon. Uh, maybe we can make that a challenge. Do this without a beacon. All right, this first dig, we do this without a beacon. And the next one, we do with a beacon, okay? So, I kind of like that. We do this is a challenge all right the first one no beacon the next one we do it with a beacon all right so we do got a witch hut in this world and i would love to turn that into a witch farm and i'm thinking one of the biggest areas that i want to dig out would be like a 1000 by 1000 perimeter and then the next one will update it and take it to like a 2000 by 2000 perimeter something like that you know i just want to I want to do the best I can, guys. I want to be the best I can do with this. Let's get some more stone bricks going on here. There we go. Now we can... Uh-oh. Here comes the water. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hit. And there we are. All right. So we're going to leave some of that stuff alone. 
Um, yeah, you know what? We'll keep the materials and we'll just kind of remove just this stuff. Like, yeah, kind of like this. And we can just add some torches in here as needed. But for right now, let's just bring this down to like a specific level to where we can work with it. Let's see here. We got some coal in here. We could uh, turn that into something we could use. Let's get this corner out. We're going to kind of trap ourselves down in here, guys. Um, I do want to build a massive storage unit. Um, Methods has a uh, little contraption I'm thinking of using for this. Um, it'll bring all the materials up to the surface. So I'm thinking inside of one of these squares, maybe that one over there, okay? Um, we could use one of these squares over here at spawn, and we could build a uh, an elevator that goes up. But the thing of it is, I am in, let's, let's just hit F3. I am in 1.14.1. So I'm not going to get the best FPS in the world, guys. I mean, not FPS. I'm not going to get the uh, best performance-wise. I'm trying to think of what it is I'm trying to say here. But <laughs> you guys might know what I mean. But I, I just want to gather all the materials that we can get. You know, we want to make this area nice and flat over here first. We're going to bring it all down to one level. And then we're going to work our way. We're going to go over there. We're going to pull all that down to one level. All right. So, so for 30 minutes a day, we're going to come in here. We're going to plow some of this stuff down. We'll talk about some stuff and things. I'd like to hear from you guys. What kind of stuff and things do you like to hear about? You know, um, you know what? We'll take that fortune and we'll just plug it right here for right now. There we go. Munch on some food. And anything that we can fortune, we're going to go ahead and fortune that. There we go. Get herself a little bit of XP. And you know what? Here, do this. And we can heal our silk touch pickaxe up just like this as we go down. There we go. There we are. Looking good so far. All right. Let's go ahead and F. There we go. Aha. All right, we're doing good. Pull this stuff out of here. And let's see here. We can use the silker. I'm not worried about it. I kind of like using the silk touch. But I'm cooking all of this stone up, guys. I don't want to use really, I don't, this season, I think I don't, I don't want to use this stone. All right, I want to cook it. I want to use it as that new smooth stone block. All right, um, it has a really nice texture to it, and I'm thinking that I really want that. I really want that nice, smooth texture, so we're going to go ahead and just cook all of the stone up that we get. Um, I might make a cobblestone generator at some point. We're, yeah, there we go. We're just, so, yeah, cobblestone generator. All right, so here's the plan with a cobblestone generator, guys, is I'm going to use Il Mango's design for a cobblestone generator, and we're going to try to build that. I want to build that, like, down low, and we're going to see what happens, all right? For right now, let's just... I got wheels turning in my head, so, yeah, I'm kind of blabbing at the same time. All right, I'm very inspired heavily by this, uh, by these guys this season, and I wanna, I don't feel that in, don't feel that in. I, I just really want to get some work done. All right, so we're gonna kind of use them as like a, uh, we're gonna use their season as something that we could actually use really well. All right, so let's see here. Can we, we got plenty of room. Yeah. All right. Let's get up top here, and let's see here. Which part can we cut back? Mm, let's choose a side, guys. I kind of like this one better. Let's cut this one out. It looks like it has a nice big chunk of dirt in it. Yo, mama. All right, let's go. 
Whack it out, guys. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. And we get some grass blocks out of this one, too. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead, silk touch our way back. And. All right. That right there would be our line. And let's go ahead and take this one all the way down there so we can meet up with it. There we are. Doing good. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so if I go quiet during any of these episodes, guys, it's because I, my, my mind is just turning into its wheels, you know? It's just turning wheels. The wheels are turning. All right? The wheels are turning. The ideas are turning. You know, stuff and things that we can do. Oh, here we go. We got a nice big, got a nice big wall right here we can rip out of here. Here we are. Here we are. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. All right. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, so the, for the first night, let's rip this thing out, you know? This thing is going to get in our way. Let's tear this thing out of here, you know? Let's just get it out of here. <laughs> We're going to be beating the living daylights out of all our tools. We really don't have a way of repairing these things, but, you know, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. Sand flying all over the place. <laughs> Our inventory's packed solid already. All right, slap a couple torches on here. And let's see here. Bonsai! <laughs> All right, um, we don't got nobody following us? No, we're, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right, let's see here. This is for all the uh, cobblestone. And we got some iron. Let's see here. What is all this? Sand? Yeah. All right, um, let's see. This is all our gravel. Yeah. And if something comes and hits us, then we're good. All right, let's get, get this stuff put away. Here we go. We're doing nice. Wait, don't I have a dirt chest? I thought I had a dirt chest. Uh, I don't know, but we got a bunch of sand chilling back here. All right, let me get some of this stuff put away, guys. All right, guys, still nightfall. Let's get moving. <laughs> I enjoy this. Never know what we're going to run into. Never know what we're going to run into. This is going to be fun. That's the whole challenge in this, guys. Have a lot of fun as we tear this down. We're going to get a lot of materials, and I'm going to have fun with this. Well, hopefully you guys are here to have fun with me, too. Oh, so looking forward to what Nightfall is going to look like. There we are. Let's do this. And just keep an eye out for the baddies. All right, nothing coming yet. All right, we're good. <laughs> just tear it all down. There we go. Uh, we're safe? Yeah, we're safe. All right, let's do this. You can hear zombies all over the place down there. Don't know where they're all hiding at, but uh, yeah. Sand for days. Sand and gravel for days. Let's get this sand wall down. We should be okay. My goodness. This thing is long. Maybe we should just jam some torches underneath it and be done with it. Save on the shovel, at least. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. Let's... Let's get down here and scoop this crap up. Let's just do that. Yeah. Let's just do that. Here. Give me this. And give me that. There we go. Here we are. Scoop these things up. And we'll just do torches up underneath these things. You know, anything to get the wall out of the way. All right. Let's do this.
There we go. Lots of torches. <laughs> I think we're doing good, guys. I think we're doing good. Sounds like we got a spider around us somewhere. Just can't quite figure out where he is. Wow, look at all this sand over here, guys. <laughs> Got a ton of this. All right, so let me pause, tear this sand wall down, and we'll get back to this. All right, guys. Got that entire wall out of the way. Daylight already, unfortunately. But, hmm. This thing, I think we can go ahead and get rid of this. I'm happy to have a silk touch. But uh, we also might be able to get a, uh, ooh, concrete. But uh, that's not concrete. That was uh, clay because we can't get clay any other way. I can make it. I had to add it into the data pack, into my data pack because <laughs> there's no, there is no uh, mesa around for at least 50,000 blocks. So, yeah, that's a thing. Go ahead, let's grab that thing up. I'm sure we can use that. We can figure out a use for that somehow. Let's get up here. Let's start from here and let's just clear this. We tear this the whole way down now that we got all that out of the way. And we know what we're doing, so let's see here now. Uh-oh, that's the wrong pickaxe. All right, let's do this. Rip all of this out of here. If you guys want me to uh, speed montage any of this, let me know. I'm willing to hear your suggestions on this, but I'm thinking what we're going to do is I'm just going to dig this entire mountain down with you. Well, not mountain. We're going to dig spawn down together. Instead of me doing this off camera by myself on the weekends, I'll do this like... Well, every day this week, but we're also need to, uh, we need to come up with an idea, guys. Um, a build pattern, you know, an area, something we could build. You know, I want to build a city in this game, but we're going to need a lot of materials. And tearing down spawn should be able to give this to us. I mean, that's the way I'm looking at it. I mean, lots of materials, lots of goodies. Um, here we go, right here. There we go. We can tear right through here. Tear this out of here. And watch us find a cave of sorts around here as well, too, as we do this. I, I don't have a problem with it. You know, we run into a cave, then we find some baddies that we can fight. <laughs> Just add some more excitement to the game. This is where I move spawn, too, so... I don't have a problem with it. Fight all the baddies in the world. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, we're coming for you. All right, let's go ahead and get some cobblestone out of this then. Might as well, we're gonna be using it. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with my data pack that I put up with this. I think I showed you guys this before, but uh, if you use eight cobblestone to build a uh, furnace, why not get it back, okay? So what I've done with my data pack is I basically added a way to decompress your cobblestone in from one thing in a house. I thought there was a... Uh, Zombie, there was a cave around here. Hi there, mister. How you doing? Would you like to come out and play? Here, let me help you. <laughs> Hi. Shut up. <laughs> He's been growling at us the whole time. <laughs> he wanted to be the feature of the show, so he had to pick up a block. Well, 
I guess he picked up one too many blocks. <laughs> uh, I guess we can get the XP. And someone else wants to be a part of the show. Hello. Full drawback. Eat my shorts. Thank you. Back to, back to work. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> so much better. Nice and peaceful. No more creepers trying to take us. We can take them all along, guys. We roll. They draw. <laughs> And we'll likely block off all this other stuff. So here we go. You know, we can really use this. There we go. This thing can really use the XP. There we are. I wonder how much XP it would take to fill this thing. <laughs> how we doing? All right. We got almost a full inventory, so let's pop down here. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay. So, if I take a stack of cobblestone, we're going to go ahead. We're going to look at a furnace. We can go like this. Okay. Now, with this thing, a furnace, I can go right ahead. I can make cobblestone out of it. All right. So, basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking eight cobblestone and I'm compressing it down into a furnace and I'm getting all that back. So that's what this chest right here is for. It's for all the cobblestone. It's why I said, all right, so this is a cobblestone chest basically. All it is is basically compressed cobble. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way I want to compress gravel. I found a way to compress sand. So... Where is the sand at? If we go inside of here and we say, all right, was it both of these sand? All right, let's just go right ahead, do this. All right, we go sandstone, bada bing, all right, sandstone, bada bing, all right, no more sandstone, right? Well, what if we need sand back? Well, just like that. There we go. It takes four to make one, you get four back. You go ahead, do this thing, and you get one back. There you go. One for one, pretty much. So that's what I did with that, and that's how I can condense a sandstone down. But if there's any more sand inside of here, now I can just pull it right back out. I can go over here, and I can say, all right, bada bing, bada boom. And that's how I compress all my sand, guys. It's easy peasy, and it keeps everything, well, nice and compressed for me. So I got my compressed cobblestone I got compressed sand um, I need a way of compressing this other stuff what I'm thinking about doing for compressed dirt um, I want to know what you guys think of this okay so let's think of this as let's think of this as like this all right you take one think of that as a grass blade or a seed right you take eight dirt, and you compress it, and it turns into one of these. It gives you a grass block, all right? I know it sounds ridiculous. And if you want to decompress a grass block, it gives you eight of these back. Well, not eight, but, uh, well, not this, but there we go. So basically, this would equal eight dirt, okay? But you don't get that second object back. You would get this, but you won't get the seed. All right. So that's what I'm thinking of doing for that one right there to compress the dirt. I want to know what you guys think about that one right there. Um, meanwhile, for right now, I mean, that's what I'm thinking about doing for the dirt to compress that down further. It's to turn it into grass blocks. Um, or we could turn it into granite, one for one. But I um, and granite, I'm not sure about. Um, I, um, the stu these things, 
I'm not sure. Gravel, I can condense that. All right. And the way I'm thinking condensing gravel is if I do this, what I'm thinking of doing instead of turning this into two flints is taking one of one and basically turning it into four flint. I mean, one flint block pretty much or something like that. Or we could turn it into a coral block, all right? Like we do something like this, and I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just data pack talk, pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. Um. <laughs> but yeah, that's my general idea of what I want to do. This right here, this big dig. I want to know what you guys think about this. All right. How far, well, I already know how far this thing going. I'll show you guys where this thing is going to. It's coming from this corner all the way over and to that corner. Should we leave the icebergs, okay? Should we leave the icebergs? That's my question to you guys. Whoa. That was a lag spike. I'm not sure where that came from. It's going to go all the way over to that corner. So pretty much that corner to that one. It's a 10 by 10. There's lots of mobs around here. Um, <laughs> there's some left over. Nothing coming over from behind me. Nothing going to attack me. Nope. But there is lots of gravel. I don't know how long this is going to take for us to tear down, guys. Um, I want to know about these icebergs, guys. Should we leave them floating here or should we take them out? I personally want to take them out of here, but I want to know from you guys. Should we take them out or leave them? Well, I'll be darned. Look who came to visit us. Uh -huh. Hi there, good sir. Um, Do you have anything that I want? A bucket uh -huh. of puffer fish, red dye, melon seeds, melon seeds. We have melon seeds. Uh -huh. Beetroot, nautilus. Dude, are you kidding me? I have all that stuff. Get out of here. Go disappear. Seriously. But, yeah, we're going to dig this all out today, guys. Well, not today, but during this week. Uh, maybe I'll montage some of it. I'm going to leave that up to you. And I will see all of you guys tomorrow. Catch you later. See you later. Bye-byes.